Hey everyone and welcome back to my class. Come on kids, let us now look at the summary of chapter 9, The Living Palette. Before that, let us first look at the mind map of the chapter, The Living Palette. Point number 1, in ancient times there were no option, there was no option of takeaway or home delivery. Point number 2, in middle ages, Roasting, steaming and boiling etc. These were the different kinds of styles that was used. Point number three, food choices, expresses and mirrors societies and cultures. Point number four, then came the concept of dining out. Point number five, convenience food. And point number six, back to basics. Let us now look at the summary of the chapter. This essay traces the development of food from all cuisines from the early times when people used to hunt and gather food for survival to canned foods for convenience. If we go a few decades back, we will realize that we have come a long way indeed. There were no kitchens as such and there was no option of takeaway or home delivery. The hunting and gathering times were potluck times. In middle ages, spices, salt and flavors were added to food. Different kinds of styles were followed like roasting, steaming, baking, boiling, etc. And obviously it all tasted different. Styles and ingredients have evolved. Beyond feeding our bodies, food choices expresses and mirrors societies and cultures. Many food originated in places from far away. For example, tomatoes are used in Mediterranean cuisines. A native of Central and South America, cocoa, played an important role in many ancient South American cultures. The Greeks had a name for cocoa, that is Theobroma. Potatoes have come from Peru. Tea, the second most consumed beverage, has come from China. Cuisines became so important that schools were established that trained chefs in the art of cooking. Socializing and gathering at home were done excessively and it was a time for a change. The concept of dining out came into being which later led to the concept of takeaway foods. Convenience food like canned foods, frozen foods, etc. were brilliant innovations. Food scientists and dietitians say that preserved food loses its nutrients and chemical additives are harmful. Butter, pizza slathered with cheese, deep fried snacks, etc. are easy to eat, no doubt, but not so easy on health. Therefore, many people are going back to basics. The new trend is going back to local freshly grown foods. The journey of food is ever evolving and no one knows what the future is. So this was a summary of the chapter children. Hope you all understood the chapter. I will be back again with yet another fascinating chapter. Till then, take care and stay safe.